Hi there, this is Rick. I had a couple of requests to show uh, or to explain how I did the door breaching uh, sequence in Zero Dark Thirty, the mission where we kill Osama bin Laden. Uh, the mission was posted to Steam Workshop a couple of years ago, and it, it's been updated to zero point uh, sorry to one point seven two currently. Um, so yeah, so let me show you how that was done. This is the the mission currently. Um, just going to grab one of my one of my units. Check I've got him. Okay, I've got him. Basically, the 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 mission consists of um, multiple stages. First stage, briefing session at an airfield uh, inside the Afghanistan sort of territory. Fly in to the compound. The only problem is trying to find a, a house that is suitable uh, to represent the compound in the real uh, in the real life situation. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one, and trying to build one, I never managed to get one that looked really good and worked properly. So I decided to opt for uh, this building, which is not really ideal, but it's it suits my purpose. Um, we're not going to be sticking to the story kind of 100%. Uh, we're going to fast rope onto the roof, uh, go down this, these stairs, um, try to get down the stairs, and um, clear out all the the bad guys, and then. Um, and then basically search for Osama bin Laden, who's currently sitting behind that door over there. This door is um, actually there's obviously no door here; it's just an open space. So I positioned a, a wooden surface into the wall. It kind of looks like a door, especially because obviously this is at night. So let me show you the sequence first, and then, uh, then I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so. Drop my guy in over here, the authentic looking SEAL Team 6 guy. Alright, so I'm going to play as this unit. Okay, so it's now set up. Switch to night vision. Background sounds are normally only triggered when um, the players actually arrive on the roof of the building. So these background noises of soldiers shouting to each other or um, in the compound, that, that's kind of... Uh, I could switch it off, but for the sake of just this test, um, I'll just let it run. So what would happen normally is I'd clear the... Uh, we clear all the hostiles and then we'll move into this area. There's basically four doormen. And what happens is when the doormen are killed, it uh, activates a trigger. So the first thing I need to do is kill the doormen who uh, just happen to be called door, doormen one, two, three, and four. I needed I need to kill them first I don't want to completely uh, I don't want to unhide them and, and enable this simulation so that I can actually run this without getting shot and having a, a major firefight in the process of trying to talk okay so I'm just gonna kill the doorman this will this activates a, a trigger on the floor which I'm gonna walk into now <laughs> Osama. Place the breach in charge on the door. So I get to within two meters of the door. Place the charge. Get back. <laughs> Chairs get blown over. And there's... Osama currently covering his eyes. Okay, so that's the sequence. Zero two. Geronimo. Geronimo. 
obviously from this point on was he's supposed to collect intel put him in a body bag and and the story continues okay so um get back into the editor all right i could have scripted the whole thing but it was just easier just to stick it down and as triggers because of just managing the, the timing process First thing is we, we have a door, which is actually a shoot house panel. It's called Oz door. That's the wooden panel sitting in front of the door, doorway. Um, behind that, we have two explosive anti-personnel mines, explosive one and explosive two. As I said, we have a trigger over here. And this basically checks to see if um, a player is in the list and the doormen are all killed and that this trigger obviously mustn't trigger unless I'm on the first floor so it checks uh, to see that I'm above three meters and I'm less than five meters so you don't want the <laughs> this trigger to trigger when we fast rope onto the roof because then it would be a bit strange so it then plays a sound call out which is what we heard another little trigger here and this is to ensure that um, none of the current um, enemy who patrol the building will walk up and actually go into Osama's room because we don't really want his room to be filled with AI. So that kills them basically in the event that one just happens to stroll in here. Um, okay, so we have a task, breach the door. Task is triggered um, when it when uh, when call out a door happens which is this trigger so when that trigger fires it activates this trigger after four seconds and uh, basically what it does is it, it adds an action to the door um, it's just kind of orange breach the door um, it then once the trigger once the action is is um, once you activate the action, it then runs the script. Um, and the script says, uh, remove the action off the door because you don't want them to run the action twice. Um, damage the door, set it to damage one. Now the reason it does that is because that's, the, that's what's used to trigger all of the subsequent events. The door itself doesn't take damage uh, well, it does, but it doesn't show that there's damage to it. So now I use that to trigger all the further, all the triggers further on. Um, the player um, basically, once the script is running, the player plays the action now. Put down. It looks like he's putting something. So in other words, he's putting the charge on the door. Sleeps for a second, and then moves the dummy explosion and attaches it to the Oz door and the offset. Uh, X, Y, and Z. Um, it then makes sure that the it, it, it makes sure that the breach the door text is not visible until you're within two meters of the door, uh, and it posts a hint to the screen which says uh, place a breaching charge on the door. I don't really think that's entirely necessary, but it's really to it's really just in to encourage people to go towards the door. Hopefully. Um, when they do that, they'll see the prompt and they won't try and use a, a C4 charge or some explosive charge, which will probably take out half the building. Uh, I specifically didn't give them any explosive for breaching charges for that reason, in case they accidentally go and decide to blow the, blow the door using a typical or normal charge. And then it plays the sound beep when you place the charge on the door. There's a four second delay on that trigger. Then when not a live Oz door. So now we've played the action on the door and it started to trigger. So the door is taken, taken set damage one. So it's, the door is theoretically not alive, although it's still there. Plays a sound uh, timer, which is a, a beeping sound. Um, creates a red, little red light point on the door, on the breaching charge and attaches the, attaches the, to the dummy explosion. And then it runs a little countdown script, um, which basically just prompts on the screen a uh, number of seconds to detonation. 
the the dummy explosion incidentally is sitting on the other side of the wall in Osama bin Laden's room because you know I obviously see that to be visible I could have hidden it but it's actually makes it's easier to just to move it into position uh, when you trigger that process uh, the add action process um, Behind the scenes, Osama bin Laden needs to get into a crouch position and act as if he's been stunned by the explosion on the door. So seven seconds after the, the trigger of the, the event of ad action, Osama goes into this scared state. Now, I know that it takes a certain number of seconds before he, he's going to stand up, get his gun, and wake up again. So this is all very time-sensitive stuff. Also... Not a live Oz door. After 10.58 seconds, the chair one um, basically gets tossed into the air, uh, and then its pitch pitch bank is adjusted to make it look like it's been flipped over and so on. So it sort of creates a random effect of the explosion and reinforces the fact that there is an explosion at the door. The fact is, it, they wouldn't move otherwise. Chair 2 does exactly the same thing. These are the chairs over here. Chair 1, Chair 2. Okay. So that was at 10.58 seconds. Then next we get, uh, again, also triggered by the Not Alive Oz door. 10.6 seconds, so fractionally after the chairs start m moving, um, there's a bright kind of a flash on the door. Um, the explosives. The AP, AP, anti-personnel mines are, are detonated. Uh, the light's deleted. The dummy explosion on the door is deleted. And the door is itself deleted. Now when the explosions, when these two little guys go off, notice they're pointing in this direction. Because uh, I have to obviously disable damage on Osama Bin Laden. Because it wouldn't really be great if he's already killed when you walk in. Um, so these are pointing towards the door. And they generate uh, a force they wouldn't it doesn't really de generate significant or enough force to force these uh, chairs out of the way but what it does do is generate a nice explosive effect and also uh, smoke now the smoke is the critical thing because that hides the effect of the door essentially just disappearing so you get a light br a bright flash you get smoke as you saw on and, and so on so that was the explosion explosive and this trigger here is called detonate. And the detonation trigger, once it's fired, basically uh, sets Osama bin Laden captivity to, or set captive to false, so he's no longer captive. Uh, he switches him out of the move state that he's currently in and allows, uh, and allows him to be hurt, otherwise it would be kind of pointless. Uh, put a whole magazine into him. And so basically that's how it's done. It was reasonably difficult to do and um, I think it's quite effective. It, it, it looks pretty good. So hopefully that was of use to you. Uh, if you want to play the mission, it's on Steam Workshop. Cheers. Thank you for watching.